everyone, so today I'm going to tag with you because tomorrow I'm flying off to one of my favorite places on earth and it's the Amalfi Coast and I'm going to stay at the Hotel Santa Caterina which I've always wanted to visit so I'm super excited and I will just start to show you what I will bring. First of all, it's the Amalfi Coast so what do we bring? Bikinis, right. So I got a lot of bikinis this summer and I couldn't really wear them because of obvious reasons. So first of all I placed an order at Andy Bagos and I found him because um, the models on the Sparse Illustrated cover were his bikinis and he has some amazing bikinis. First of all I got this little pink number, then I got this gorgeous Oh, it's a bit tangled, but I think you get it just this gorgeous like crochet material um, and it's in this blue print and it really reminds me of the Malfi Coast and it also has some shells at the band, so really excited to wear this one. And the last bikini I got from... Oh, those are the two bikinis I got from Andy Backus. The other ones are from other brands. So next I got a bikini from a brand, I don't even know what it's called, but it's beautiful because it's like that. I got it from the Instagram app, you won't believe it, it's like that. And the top is like this one. So very nice white bikini. And then I got my favorite new bikini from Devin Windsor and I can tell you I have never been as impressed with a bikini swimwear line as I am with the quality of the Devin Windsor ones. They're so thick and they just look amazing. So here is the bottom. I got the Mela bottom I think it's called. Or the Bella, no, the Bella bottom. It's quite high waisted and quite cheeky at the back. And the top is like that. But you could also wear some like firm things with it. But for tanning I prefer wearing just the Bendo one. Then we are going to the day outfits and I have to tell you I'm going for five nights which is about six days but I usually bring a little bit more clothes because we all want to have the choice and I don't know what I feel like when I'm there. So yeah, first I am more kind of a dress person but I did bring, I do bring, I will bring like two pair of shorts which will be my cinnamon shorts, you probably guessed it. First of all, those ones, and second of one, all the scalloppy white ones, which I very, very like. So if you're considering buying Zimmerman shorts, but you think, well, they're pricey, I would, I would actually get them if you can afford them, because the quality is incredible and they just look so nice. So I will only bring Zimmerman shorts with me on this trip. For the shorts, I do need some tops. And here I have this gorgeous little lemony, I think it's very multi coast like top, which is from HM. And I got it in a sale, it was like $7. So, but paired with the Zimmerman shorts, this top looks like it was quite expensive as well. So, that's a good tip. Then, because it's October, I don't know how warm it will be, and sometimes it will be. It will probably be a bit chilly, so I also brought a white linen blouse, which is from Sara. And I will bring this, not the one behind there, but I will bring this white and blue linen blouse as well, which is from H&M. And I will also wear um, some white or beige Joseph trousers and a linen, white linen blouse um, on the plane right there. And the white linen blouse, I can totally wear that at the beach as a cover-up. So two-in-one is always great when packing because we are always... The, the suitcases are always too little and yeah. Then we come to the day dresses. First of all, this day dress from Zara. It's from last year, but I think Zara usually does some similar ones each year. And for the dresses, I chose dresses that do have some arms, not all of them, but most of them, because it is October and it's on the coast, so it's quite windy and I 
I usually am cold all the time. So yeah. Second of all, I will bring this linen, you know, I love linen, Chloe dress, which is also very like Amalfi Coast like. You, you see, I think all of my clothes are Amalfi Coast like, which they probably aren't, but let's just pretend. Then this Chloe dress. Third one will be this Alice and Olivia dress, which I love so much because it has this like, it's very simple, but it has this like 60 fit and it looks very beautiful. So I'm excited to wear this one. I never wore it and oh, I'm dying to wear it. Then one of my favorite finds, this, I, I think I got it in spring, it's from Zara and it's this dress and it has the belt around it. And I can't tell you how many compliments I got for this dress, like, it's insane and I love it so much and it looks so much more expensive than it actually is. I think it, if I would tell someone that's a Zimmerman dress, probably most of the people would believe it. I mean, like, people who know Zimmerman, <laughs> the other one would believe it, obviously. So, yeah, that's a very good find. And I, yeah, that's everything I wanted to tell you about this dress. And the last day dress would be this one. It's in this nice blue color, also linen, and also from Zara. So you, you, you get the gist. And yeah, those are my daytime outfits. You know, a little bit too many daytime outfits, but yeah, better too many than too little. And I mean, if you have the space in the suitcase, you should use it. Then, because I don't know how, warm and cold it will be, I will also bring two jackets. And I thought I would probably bring this one. It's my Zara Tweedy jacket. And it's blue color because most of the clothes I brought with me are blue or white. So this one would, like, I can wear this one of probably almost all of them. And the second one is actually a new end piece. I think I'll probably do a haul um, where I will feature this, but here's a little sneaky preview. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous jacket from Zara. I just got it, so you should be able to find it if you go right now. And it's this one, and it's with the gold buttons, and uh, I just kind of love the jacket. And also, it's cropped, and I think like if you're wearing skirts or something like that, or also dresses, I think cropped jackets just look better. Then we come to the evening outfits and I love dressing up in the evening when I go on holiday. I'm not one of those girls who just throws her hair in a bun and wears like some, something she wore on the day, during the day because I really like dressing up when I am um, on holiday, also when I'm not on holiday, but when I'm on holiday especially. And then go to special places, special restaurants. So here are my picks for the evening. First of all, you can't really see it that well on the hanger, but I will post all of my outfits on my Instagram account, which is OOTD front back. I will link it down below. And here, this is this gorgeous dress, and I think you've probably already seen this dress because it was quite popular, I think, two years ago on Instagram. Like, everyone had this dress, and I had it as well, and I loved it, and I wore it the last time when I was at the Amalfi Coast, and it was one of my favorite days, so bringing it again. Then the second thing I will bring for the evening, you can't really tell, but this is a jumpsuit from Ruiz, and I got it this um, this summer, so I think they should still have it. And it's like really gorgeous, um, with a deep V here, um, it has no um, no arms, and it looks very nice, and I think that's probably the best for an evening which is a bit cooler because it has the long legs. And yeah, really excited to wear this one. Then, next, one of my favorite dresses. I know I'm not going to Greece, I'm going to Italy, but I always call this my Greek dress because I think it looks like the dress is like those Greeks wore, <laughs> you know, those um, paintings, I don't know. Um, they didn't wear this dress because this is from Marchesa and yeah, it's just gorgeous, it's just so full, it's floaty and absolutely love this dress. And then we have two more dresses and the next one, I always call it my princess dress but I've never worn it because I just got it from Netta Porter and it's from Rotate 
by Birger Christensen and it looks like that. I shared it in a haul with you, I think like in May, June, I don't know exactly, but I'm really excited to wear this dress because I feel like a princess when I'm, while I'm wearing it. And then the last dress is this very beautiful Philip Lim dress with the bow here and yeah, you know, I already told you Italian and glitter is like a good combination and you can tell that I'm Italian um, if you look at my wardrobe because I own quite a bit of glittery stuff. I don't like it tacky but I think like this isn't tacky. I think this is elegant. So yeah, those are all the clothes that I'm bringing with me on this Amalfi trip. And if you wanna check out how they look on me and how they, I style them together, what shoes I style them with, what bags I style them with, and so on, then just follow me on Instagram or check out my Instagram, you don't have to follow. And I will post all of my outfits there as I do every single day. So yeah, have a nice day and bye.